like to show you a new addition we've got to the shop today. This is an enclosure for our CNC mill, and it's by Aerowell. It's a small machine shop out of Ohio. This fellow makes these enclosures. They're really, really nice. Um, if you have a mill, you know that you spend an awful lot of time uh, cleaning chips that have been flung to the far corners of the shop because the cardboard box that you had taped up there with duct tape or speed tape or gaffer's tape doesn't quite contain everything that is being thrown off the uh, off the cutter. So I had considered making one, making one, do this, make a project, but you know when you're making stuff for yourself you never seem to really make it. So this was a no-brainer. This fella makes these. Uh, they're prefabricated. They come all knocked down in a nice package. He ships them out FedEx. And uh, for $200 and change, I mean, I think this cost me a uh, little under $250. His prices may have gone up by now. I'll let you know at the end of the video exactly what he's uh, selling them for. He's got this really, really clever enclosure. Comes in two sizes. I've got the smaller size, about 34 inches across, and I believe he makes a 41 inch. But that's only because we've got the fourth axis over here. So I really didn't have enough room on my table. I only have a 54 inch table. And the, uh, as I said, the fourth axis takes up a, a good portion of that. But this is fine. This is perfect. Just what I need. It's got a nice uh, Lexan window. It might be polycarbonate. I'm assuming it's Lexan. Doesn't really matter. That folds down, up and out of the way. It's got a, uh, a galvanized base. The thing is powder coated, powder coated gray. I don't believe there are any other colors, but you know, you can call them and ask them. And it's got a single drip slot in the middle, which is also where you'd lock down your vices. Um, one of the things that I was looking at is we do a lot of work with uh, fixture plates. But again, that's not a big deal. If push came to shove, we could uh, put some holes in the in the base plate to uh, allow the use of our fixture plates. If not, we can work it off the uh, off this center slot here. Uh, I only have one vice mounted right now, as you can see, but it's perfect. Now over here, I made a sign. Look at that lettering: "Remove before homing." In my case, my machine homes to the uh, looking at the front of the machine to the forward left corner. And it comes way, way over, so if I don't take this off, uh, I will hit. Of course, I have the machine up. The table is raised pretty much as high as it can go for a particular job we're doing. Were I to lower the, uh, the table down, I wouldn't have to worry about that. But it's just easy. These things knock down and come apart. As you can see, you have some adjustability here. I can just take it off, lift it up and take it off. Or I can put it on and drop it down depending on how much I want to uh, to have it protrude. So, of course, this is a lot easier when you're doing it with two hands than with one hand. But there you go. So, the same thing with the back panel. The back panel is adjustable. I'll run right around the back of the machine here. And you can see that it, too, has the, uh, the adjustability. Everything on this thing is really, really well thought out. Now, this whole side here, if you see, this whole panel lifts up and swings out. You can see there's a hinge there. So if you had a long piece, you could actually open up these sides and swing them out of the way. Of course, again, I have my fourth axis in the way, so it's not really uh, any benefit to me at this point. But if I did have to do it, I would just pop the hinge and I'd be done with it. This thing... This whole front lifts right out, and so you can have access there to load, you know, a particularly heavy part. You don't have to, uh, you don't have to worry too much. You see there, you've got a nice opening. That in and of itself uh, is a lot better than what most of us are using. There's a little rubber curtain there, so you can see that the uh, the vise sticks out just a little bit, just so that you can get to it. And uh, again, here's what I was saying. It opens up on this side, and it opens up on this side as well. And of course, over here, I have a little wooden tray, so I lose out. I don't get to, I don't get to use the swing out function on this unless I want to make some other changes. But that's not really a problem for us because most of the things we do, 
this envelope, this work envelope here is more than adequate for most of the stuff we do. Uh, you'll notice that uh, I have a, a large table, but I do lose a little bit of y-axis, but in the final analysis, the amount of y-axis that I lose, about three inches, doesn't really amount to anything because, again, that would be working way, way, way to the front of this work envelope. If I really needed to do anything like that, I can always extend my RAM. So, again, these are little, little picks and nits that, you know, uh, really don't amount to anything. One thing I will tell you, if you get this, it does, as I said, it comes knocked down. Very, very simple to assemble. I'm going to take this off and lay this down over here. I did make the mistake of initially putting this in the other way with the nut on the inside. Don't do that. When you get one, the round head goes on the inside. The reason being for that is that these will, uh, they'll interfere. So just remember that. It comes with one hinge already assembled so just follow the lead and then put your nuts on the outside that almost sounds like not a nice thing to say but you know what we're talking about anyway uh, it's a great tool or uh, it's an accessory I guess but it really will save you a lot of time in the fact that you won't be spending two hours yesterday before this came in I spent three and a half hours cleaning the floor of chips and the machine and the pan and the bottom tray. I spent three and a half hours cleaning that all up um, from a job that we had. Uh, had I had this in place, if I knew it was coming in the next day, I would have probably held off on doing that job. But right now, I'm happy. I've got it. I'm going to give you the guy's, uh, the guy's address at the end of this, and please get in touch with him. If you got a mill, this is, a, this is just a really excellent, excellent accessory. Uh, not high tech, it's uh, pretty straightforward, so even, even somebody like me can assemble it. So you will enjoy it, you'll uh, change the way you do your, your machining, and uh, it really is nice. You can use flood coolant now, in the uh, old days to do flood coolant, we were hanging shower curtains and pieces of plexiglass and you know all kinds of things trying to divert or not using the, the coolant, the flood coolant at its full pressure. This allows you to do that. Everything, uh, everything is contained inside. So you got this nice little rubber gasket. Again, trying to do all this stuff single-handedly is a little bit tricky. But everything goes together quite nicely. And everything is held together. You, this, you got this little rubber gasket here, this little rubber curtain. Um, it's going to contain most of whatever is going to be coming off the vise there and this is nice that it can fold down if you want to move a small part in again if you have a large heavy piece of uh, material that has to be laid up on the table you can turn around and take this whole front piece off again the company's name is Arawell and uh, guy's name is Aaron Welch he's come up with a really nice product here so uh, give him a shout tell him you saw it at HRE.com and uh, Enjoy.